It's hot out here though, right? Sunny here in Florida. I guess this is what you come here for, UFC 273 Fight Week. Uh, we're right outside the Fighter Hotel behind us, right into lots of characters. Obviously, this card's all about the two title fights and about Hamza Chimaya versus Gilbert Burns, but there's some other intriguing storylines on the prelims, in my opinion. Uh, Raquel Pennington, Tisha Torres. I know Torres is on the main card, but sharing a fight card this time, it's pretty uh, unique dynamic with the couple. It seems like their nerves are a little bit on edge, but they're also very excited for this. Your thoughts on fighting on the same card together, Raquel? what do you think you're kind of doing it the reverse this time as what was last time right i'm super excited i've tried to get her to fight on multiple fight cards together and she's the one that gets emotional when she says no but uh i don't know I, like i said i'm excited but yeah she took the fight and didn't tell me so i had no say if we were going to be on the same fight card or not she took the fight and she called me like hey guess what i'm fighting on the same card as you i was like boo she's like asking i was like oh cool. you've been working hard So in the uh, future, as it says right there, man, obviously this is an extremely deep pay-per-view card, two title fights, you know, Chimaya, the Burns, lots of excitement, but they're putting you in that featured spot on the prelims where they put the guys they see as the future, so what does that mean to you? It's awesome, do you know what I mean? It's my second fight in the UFC, they put me on another pay-per-view, they just, I think they know that I'm, I'm going to show up every single time, I think they know what the future holds, I think they see the potential that everyone else sees, and they're taking advantage of it, as they should, do you know what I mean? They put me on that spot for a reason, they know I'm going to show up and they know I'm going to do my thing. It's like, just go in there, have a good performance, do it all your best, knock someone out, and let the world do what it does, do you know what I mean? I do my job and let everything else happen. The uh, team of Alderman Sterling here, we've heard at the media day today, uh, Peter Jan said it's on site if he, if he sees you guys in the hotel here. What's the reaction to that? Have you seen anyone around? We haven't seen him. Uh, we'll let Aljo do it. Uh, they asked him a question about Aljo, he brought the teams into it. I don't know what the, I don't know what the point of that was. He's not going to do anything. The fight's on Saturday night and he's got... Uh, He's got a lot to worry about. I think he should leave the teams out of it. So here at the USC 270. Green fight press conference just inside from the torrential downpour that was here in Jacksonville. Uh, finally dried off. We're gonna have eight fighters up on the stage, the top four fights from the pay per view. We'll see what they have to say. He's obviously done a lot in this uh, in this division. He's been around for a long time. He's been at the top of uh, the division for a long time. So it's a fight I've always wanted. I've, I've kept my eye on him, you know, ever since I've been in the UFC. Uh, this opportunity come forward, and I'm happy. This is definitely a legacy fight because again, you know, I faced most legends, and he's uh, one of the legends of the the division. But you know, I'm going to have to do my thing uh, Saturday night, and uh, you know, obviously I'm on my way of being a legend of this division. So uh, that's that's what's going to happen, man. It's my time. I know, we know who is his guys. It's only clone guys, yes? He only want to pay per per you. I kill him in Saturday. Zach Nish, Zach Nish. I'm gonna get to shut this mother up and it is gonna be so sweet. Everybody in here, I guarantee everybody here is gonna be cheering and all of a sudden they're gonna be back on the bandwagon, you know, so that's just the way the fans Same are. Cheers. Is this bringing anything more to the fight or do you still feel the same about Hamzad? No, he, 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 he's never personal, just business. We're going, to, we're going out there Saturday and put on a show and I, I believe I'm going to get a win, but the hype is, will be over on Saturday. What do you think about that, Hamzad? Uh, kick you ass and his ass together, come in the cage. <laughs> So your reaction to that press conference, Hamza was very fired up, he even threatened to kick my ass. So what do you think? No, I just, uh, he stole the show. Everyone was here to see him and Gilbert. That's the biggest fight on this card. That's, that's the people's main event. And uh, you know, it's an honor to be a part of it. Like the, jer the journey now, it's like another another avenue, another journey for, uh, for him, for me, for both of us. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the fight on Saturday. I hope he gets it done. Smash Bros for life. Smash Bros for life. Thank you, man. Morning here in Jacksonville and UFC 273 wins. Moments away from kicking off, we're gonna see the fighters step on the scale and make these fights official. It's 
John Anik, Wayne's about done, save for a few stragglers here, all the big fights, official, uh, Saturday night, a huge pay-per-view. How excited are you? I'm anxious. I have absolutely no appetite right now. I'm very excited to see this rematch between Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan. I kind of need closure in this fight, like in my life, to move forward. Uh, and given all the depth that we had at Bantamweight, you know, I do think that hopefully we get a result that sort of spins this division forward. But main event's great. Shemayev's all the rage. I can't wait. Yeah, we're excited. Order it on pay-per-view. Follow MMA Junkie for all the coverage. Let's go.